everybody. We are Welcome to San Jose. I'm Sam and this is Jose. And today we're at the Albin Palacic Museum here in Winter Park, Florida to explore his beautiful pieces of art and sculptures. This museum is known for its world-class sculptures by the artist Palacic and uh, we're excited to explore them. It's a bit so fancy, Palacic. Well, I think that's how it's said, I hope. I hope, we'll it, figure it out, I'll, sounds, I'll make sure. It sounds fancy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's go explore this museum. It's okay. fun. <laughs> Founded in 1961, the Albin Palacic Museum and Sculpture Gardens, located in Winter Park, Florida near Orlando, is the last home of Palacic and was self-designed to also be a working art studio. Visitors can explore more than 200 works of art by the Czech-born artist through a series of galleries and sculpture gardens. On one of their docent-led tours of the home, visitors can step into Palaszczuk's art studio where he created many of his pieces. The museum does a fantastic job of showcasing the artist's life and artistic journey. Also on site, a chapel can be found where Palaszczuk would attend private weekly services due to mobility issues he encountered later in his life. We're just walking along here in the Palaszczuk Sculpture Garden. Lots of pieces just dispersed all through here. Walkways, beautiful botanical gardens as well. They've got flowers and plants, uh, some of them native. Um, some of them from other places. It's beautiful out here. Nature therapy. Yeah, art and nature therapy. I enjoy this directional sign because it's a great plug to his life. Each of these cities are cities that played a big role uh, in his journey through his art career. Um, everywhere from where he studied to where he was born and lived. He retired here to Winter Park, Florida in about the 1950s and uh, he continued to create many pieces within his home studio here in Florida. And here we are right in front of Lake Osceola. What's really amazing looking at all of these sculptures is the different types of medium that Palaszczuk used to create these great pieces. So everything from different types of metals to concrete to plaster to uh, just wood, anything. He was a woodcarver as well. Um, so the garden features a lot of these different pieces and in the museum as well. And it's just really great to see how diverse his collection of artwork is. I do the same thing. So what'd you think, Jose? It was fun. It was fun. It's a beautiful museum. Uh, not very large, so you could probably spend maybe an hour and a half to two hours here if you do the tour. Uh, with all of it though, the sculpture garden, the galleries inside and the tour, it does make for a really great experience to explore this artist's work and his life as well. I like the gardens. The gardens were great. Yeah, lots of nature therapy. We really enjoyed that part. Uh, and the botanical element of it, all the additional flowers and foliage that they've added in or maybe just continued to foster, I guess. I'm sure it was here when Blashik was alive, but uh, it's a great museum. We recommend it. It's right here in Winter Park, Florida. We love Winter Park, Florida for all of its great museums. Just down the street, you have Rollins College with the Cornell Museum of Fine Arts, as well as the Morse Museum, which features all that great Tiffany glass. You can see both of those videos here on our channel where we showcase those great museums as well. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We want you to join us on all these adventures in the future. Do it. Do it.